Have you ever felt that your process for onboarding new clients requires more work and takes more time than it should? Is your team having to constantly follow up with clients or stuck manually entering data when they could be focusing on higher value work? In this video, I'll show you how to use Zapier to automate and streamline your onboarding process. I'll walk through five real life Zaps that I use and provide instructions for setting them up so you and your team can get the onboarding information that you need from clients quickly and efficiently while eliminating manual tasks tasks and pesky follow-ups. What's up, everybody? My name is Sam Chalbowski. Before co-founding Motion.io in 2022, I helped grow a web design and marketing agency from 250 customers to over 5,000 customers before we sold that business in 2020. At our high point, we were onboarding over 300 new web design clients each and every month. And what we found is that clients were almost always the happiest the moment that they signed on the dotted line. To ensure we kept customers happy and stuck to our delivery timelines, having an automated onboarding system that helped our team get the information they needed when they needed it was critical. And without Zapier, creating this automated system for client onboarding would not have been possible. If you're new to Zapier, it's an automation platform that enables you to take software apps that don't usually speak to one another, for example, things like form builders, CRMs, and email automation software, and seamlessly connect them in automated workflows called Zaps, no coding experience required. When creating a Zap, you must first specify a trigger. A trigger is an event that happens in an app that starts a Zap. From there, you can set up actions in your Zap. An action is any event your Zap performs when your trigger event occurs. As I walk through the five Zaps that you can create to automate your business's onboarding process, I'll detail the tools that you can use along with the triggers and actions I suggest using in those Zaps. For a quick preview of what you can expect in this video, I'll be walking through five Zaps that when used together, create a fully automated onboarding process. The first two Zaps I'll cover will focus on automating what happens before a potential client signs on the dotted line or makes their initial payment. First, I'll show you how to automatically add the information that clients provide when they submit an inquiry form on your website to your CRM. Second, I'll show you how to automatically update your CRM and notify your team of the new sale after someone who inquires becomes a paying customer. With that foundation in place, Zaps 3 through 5 will focus on automating the collection of important information your team gathers during onboarding so they can begin work. In Zap number 3, I'll show you how to ensure a seamless transition from sales to onboarding by automatically inviting inviting new clients to a portal where they can submit forms, upload files, and complete onboarding tasks. From there, Zap number four will focus on updating your project management software whenever a client completes a task related to onboarding. The last Zap I'll provide instructions for will allow you to automatically add files your clients upload to organized and easy to access folders in Google Drive. Let's dive in. During the sales process, you'll often collect important information from potential clients that your team will need once that person officially signs on. The problem is that even once you've graduated from using spreadsheets to using a CRM like Pipedrive, Copper, or HubSpot to track client inquiries, most CRMs won't automatically bring in all of the information that prospective clients provide when they submit their initial inquiry. This means that your team is then left doing manual data entry work that can be a huge time suck. To fix this problem, Problem, you can use Zapier to pull in information from client inquiries and map it to the correct fields in your CRM. For a real world example, this Zap I've set up automatically adds anyone who submits a specific gravity form, which is the form builder plugin I'm using on our website, as a new person in our CRM, which is Pipedrive. As with all of the Zaps I'll cover in this video, it's important to note that the apps I've connected here are just two possible options. And even if you want to connect different apps, so long as they have Zapier integrations, you can follow a similar process. After configuring the Gravity Forms trigger, where I specified the form that kicks off this Zap, I've configured the subsequent action to pull in the name, email, and team size the person entered when they submitted the form to their associated fields in Pipedrive. Something to point out about this Zap, which is also a Zapier Pro tip, Tip that I want to share. Well, you can see the team size field in my Zap. This wasn't originally a field in our CRM. In cases where there is information that's critical to your process, but you don't see a default option for in Zapier, most CRMs allow you to create custom fields of your own. After making the new field in your CRM, you can hit refresh fields to have it appear in Zapier. A final thing to note about this Zap is that in addition to the user provided information I'm pulling in, I've specified a few additional things I want to happen. This includes assigning the lead to an owner and applying a label that helps my team understand that this is a brand new lead. 
To ensure a smooth transition once a lead becomes a paying customer, it's critical that you update records of that person across the tools that you're using and let your team know. Instead of making a to-do list for yourself or doing this manually, you can use Zapier to automate the process. In my example, I'm using Zapier's Stripe integration to detect when a new subscription is created to trigger subsequent actions in this Zap. Depending on your process, however, you can use various tools to trigger a similar Zap. Some options include a contract being signed in a tool like PandaDoc or clients making a payment in PayPal or Stripe. After my Zap is triggered, the following action will find the correct person in my CRM. When using Zapier to update an existing record in another app, a find action like this will enable Zapier to utilize the information from any of your previous triggers or actions to search for the record that you want to update. In my case, this means taking the customer email from the Stripe subscription trigger and using it to find the correct person in my CRM. In the action that follows, I use the ID of the person Zapier found to tag them as customers and update a few other details in our CRM. My final step of this Zap is to send a notification to a dedicated channel on Slack, giving my team a chance to celebrate and ensuring that anyone involved with onboarding is aware of the new customer. If your team doesn't use a messaging tool like Slack for internal communication, you can consider Consider using Zapier's send outbound email action to notify your team of new customers. A big reason why it's so beneficial to set up Zaps like the first two that I cover that are a part of the sales process is that you can use these Zaps to trigger additional automations that are a part of your onboarding process. A perfect example is how you can use the emails or Slack notifications that Zapier sends about new customers as the trigger for a Zap that automatically sends new clients a welcome guide, introduction email, or invites them to a client portal. For my example, I'm using the messages my other Zap sends to Slack about new customers to automatically create a new client portal in Motion.io and invite the client to it so they can submit forms, sign documents, and complete any other onboarding related tasks. Because the Slack messages I'm using to trigger this Zap are sent by a Slack bot, I've toggled on trigger for bot messages in this Zap's trigger settings. In the action below, I've taken an additional step to ensure that this Zap only fires for bot messages and not from any of the other messages my team might send to this channel. To do this, I added a filter action that will automatically halt this Zap unless the message from the Slack trigger contains the text new customer. For the final step of this Zap, I'm using Motion.io's create project action to automatically create a new portal from one of my templates and invite the new customer to it. Looking at the details of this action, you can see I've used the customer's name, business, and email from the Slack notification and set immediately assigned task to client to true. When this action fires, it will instantly send the client an invite email to their portal that they can click and immediately start completing any of the onboarding tasks I've assigned to them. As clients complete tasks during onboarding, it's vital that your team knows as soon as possible so they're aware that they have the information they need for work on that project to officially kick off. Instead of sending your team Slack messages or relying on them checking their email inbox to understand when a client has completed a dependent task, you can use Zapier to update your internal project management tool and automatically pull in any relevant information about those tasks. In my example, the Zap I've set up triggers whenever a client completes an onboarding form I've created in Fillout. Once the Zap is triggered, Zapier will find the corresponding workspace in ClickUp marking the client submits onboarding form task as completed. A tip here if you're using motion.io for your client onboarding tasks is that you can create a very similar zap using motion.io's task status updated trigger. The last app I'll cover in this video, I'm considering a bonus, as it will only apply if you're using Motion.io's client portal software as a part of your new client onboarding process. That said, this automation is incredibly useful, and it's one that I wish I had so badly at the previous agency that I was a part of. For this app, I'm using Motion.io's file uploaded trigger to automatically add any files uploaded in a portal to the corresponding client's folder in my Google Drive. In the first action of this app, Zapier will search for a folder based on the project name where the file was uploaded in motion.io. As a side note, a great part about this action is that you can use it to create a new folder in Google Drive if a matching folder name cannot be found. This app's second and final action is to pull in the Google Drive folder ID from the previous step and then use the file URL from the motion.io trigger event to add the file to my corresponding Google Drive folder. With this app in place, I no longer have to worry about uploading client files to Google Drive manually or wondering if my team is keeping the files in Google Drive well organized. 
organized. Whenever my team or clients upload files to a portal in motion.io, that all happens automatically for me. So that does it. Hopefully this video provided you with all of the information that you need to create an automated onboarding process using Zapier. Or if you're using Zapier in a similar way already, provided you with some useful tips and tricks that you can use to further streamline your onboarding process. If you have questions about anything I covered in this video, I'd love to connect. Feel free to email me directly at sam at motion.io or head to our website at motion.io and submit a contact form. Until next time, everybody.